What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. So in today's video we have some great news for those of you who already jumped to iOS 17 beta. It looks like Kawabunga Lite already started to support iOS 17. We're going to get into that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and even remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So as you probably know, a week or so ago there was the WWDC 23 event, which of course unveiled the iOS 17 preview. Not a lot has changed with the iOS 17. It's not a a huge update. Sure, they added this nice mode in here, which basically isn't always on display, but that only works, I guess, on iPhone 14 very well. Anyway, they added a new journal application. They changed a little bit the way the lock screen looks when you get a call. And yeah, there are a couple of changes, but nothing major. If you want to get it, I have a full article in here on how to get it. This year, Apple made iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 betas completely free. You don't need a developer account anymore, at least not a paid one. Apple made it free. And the support starts from 10s, 10s Max, and 10R. But if you want to get it, you actually can, and Kawabunga Lite already starts to support iOS 17 beta, so you can even start having themes and stuff like that with Kawabunga Lite. Now many people believe Kawabunga Lite is a sort of jailbreak, it's not, but it allows you to have like themes, which you can get here from this store, so to speak, and you can have themes on your device. You can change the control center to look like this, you can download your favorite one in here, you have icon theming, you have status bar changes, which you can basically change your carrier name, your status bar type text, change primary carrier text, change the data type over here. There are a lot of customization options available. You can hide the Wi-Fi icon, the cellular icon, the do not disturb, the VPN. Basically allows you to hide a lot of things. Change the control center over here. There are even springboard options like UI animation speed, shutdown sound, set airdrop to everyone, show Wi-Fi debugger and stuff like that. You can even set a lock screen footnote text, which is quite interesting. You have internal options in here like build version and status bar, fourth right to left and stuff like that. There are a lot of things you can change and then of course the setup stuff. You can enable supervision, disable OTA updates and stuff like that. And you can easily apply the tweaks and they work pretty fine. And as you can see it does support iOS 17. It says iOS 17.0 is supported. So in the future I guess it's going to be supported even more because right now iOS 17 is in developer beta. It's developer beta 1. I do believe that there will be more tweaks available as time goes on through Kawabunga Lite. If you want to get Kawabunga Lite it's currently available for Mac OS and um, you can get it in here. Kawabunga Lite Mac OS, either for Mac OS 11 or for Mac OS 12 and 13, but the Windows version is currently in development. As I wrote in my article over here, it's coming for Windows 2. So you're going to have the possibility to install your tweaks and stuff like that, even if you're running iOS 17 on Windows. Of course, Kawabunga Lite cannot replace a full jailbreak, but if you want to check out the iOS 17 features, which aren't that many anyway, you can also have some tweaks and some themes, thanks to Kawabunga Lite, which appears to be supporting iOS 17 now. Thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.